How's it going guys? Welcome back to Sylvia's Fandom Corner and today I am unboxing J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World Duped Crate. Look at it. It's so much heavier than last time. I think that's a very good sign. It actually arrived on time this time. This was a March box. It arrived in March. So let's have a look see at what's inside. I don't know. Hogwarts sticker, so I think the theme is going to be something to do with wizarding essentials and school supplies, so I'm very excited to see what it is. Yeah, this is a really heavy wizarding tape. Oh, they really pack their packages well in the wizarding world. There we go. Oh, we actually have a t-shirt this time. Let's see what that is first. I'm excited, guys. Okay. So this t-shirt, it's your kind of standard Hogwarts t-shirt. Ooh, I really like all of the black swirls. It's kind of like a canvas t-shirt, if that makes sense. Like it was painted on an ink canvas. I'll show you guys up close. I think this is a Loot Crate exclusive, so you can only get this in the Loot Crate boxes. I really like that one. It's very nice. I like wearing Hogwarts t-shirts, like, for everyday life, because that way someone can just come up to you and say, hey, I like your shirt, and you say, oh, okay, what's your favorite Harry Potter movie, you know? It sparks a conversation. So I like that a lot. Let's see what else we've got here. Ooh. <gasps> okay, this is very exciting for me because I'm a writer, and I like to write, like, everything down that I forget. So this is a set of writer's notebooks in Harry Potter themed. That's very exciting. Let's see what we got inside here. Here we go. Oh. Okay, I really like this because they're all the different houses, not just one. This is green, so it's Slytherin. It's got the flying keys. And the pages look like parchment paper. That's really nice. Oh, this must be the Ravenclaw one. I like this a lot. This is happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. And you've got all of your constellations on the front and the back. I like that one a lot. I think this one is my favorite. Except, oh my gosh. I love Severus Snape so much. You guys know how much I love Severus Snape. Ah, this says always, and it's the willow tree under which Snape first met Lily. Oh my god, it's so, so pretty. This is probably my new favorite notebook. These two are definitely favorites of mine. And then we've got the Gryffindor one, which is, oh, that's really cute too. It's all the houses, but it's their house mascot, and they're really tiny and really cute. And you got your typical Hogwarts logo right there. So that's really a nice touch too. I like that a lot. The book, once again, looks like parchment paper. Now, moving right along, this is still a huge favorite of mine. I love this one so much, guys. Ooh, we have the lump. <gasps> Oh my god. Okay, so this is the monthly pin. It's like they knew I was going to open this box. This is a Doe Patronus, and it's Lily's Patronus, and also Snape's, because they're so in love, so they have a Patronus that matches each other. And this means quite a lot to me, so I'll probably wear this on, like, everyday apparel, like my Newt's Commander coat, because my OC, Violet Potter, she has a Doe Patronus. I wrote the Severus Snape fanfiction, and this was a highly, highly significant symbol. I'm very, very happy with that. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, okay, so this is a, I think I've seen this in, yes, I have seen this in different supermarket stores. This is the Newt Scamander in movie scrapbook, Fantastic Beasts, and I've been wanting to get this for a while, so I'm really glad that I finally, finally have it. So I'll give you guys a peek inside. This shows you all the different movie pullouts of the book. It tells you a bunch of information about them. I think it's more for kids, but it's still really nice. It gives you a bunch of basic information. And there's some really nice pull-outs I can use as posters. And I like all the wands section. I love wands. And we've got some of the Makuza information. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Ooh, we've got some really nice character posters. We've got Queenie with a back designed for her. Tina. And there's her full name, Porpentina Goldstein. Jacob the Nomad. Kowalski, it says on the back. Oh, I like that because he can't do magic. Ursula Graves is probably my favorite one because he's secretly a seer because he's Grindelwald. And bam, look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm really liking this box, guys. This is making my life right now. So let's see what else they've got. Okay, this is like a refrigerator magnet, and it's Ravenclaw. Oh, that's really cute. I like that a lot, too. Wow. Okay. Oh, there's one more thing. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. This says, Wizards welcome, muggles tolerated. And the back, I just noticed this, the back says, Wizardry at work, no muggles allowed. I need this for like my desk when I'm writing, and that way no muggles will bother me, and it's just going to be the best thing. I might hang this on my door because we're allowed to have some decorations in college, so I might just hang this on my front door so that only special wizards are allowed in. Because that's how I roll. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this might be the best thing, which is quite a tall order. This says, entry for a chance to win. Luke Crate wants to send you on a trip to the experience of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Orlando. So I live in Los Angeles, as you guys probably know by now, and I have never been to the Wizarding World of Orlando before, so this would be just so exciting, so I'm definitely going to enter to win this. So I really like what they did there. They gave you all your school supplies, they gave you your books, your notebooks, and they gave you a t-shirt, and you get to wear all that to the Wizarding World. Oh my gosh, this, uh, this dough pin is making my life right now. So let's see what else we've got. We've got the official card that says what you could have gotten in the box. This was the Enchanting Essentials Wizarding World Loot Crate. So it says, A new year calls for a new wizarding year. Whether brushing up on famous witches and wizards, or finishing up another year at Hogwarts, this crate brings you useful items from the wizarding world to prepare you for anything that might come your way. So you got a Hogwarts t-shirt, a Newt Scamander scrapbook, four pack wizarding journals, which I've never seen before, so I'm pretty sure that's a Loot Crate exclusive. The Wizards Welcome Muggles Tolerated sign, a house patch, and you got the Always pin. That's still my favorite one. Oh my gosh. Okay. And oh, I want to show you guys. <gasps> this box might be the most pretty thing I've ever seen because it has the castle on the top. You can see the castle right there. And on the bottom, it's supposed to be the Great Lake. And you can see the moon's reflection. That is super pretty. I love that so, so much. Ah. Okay, so my favorite item this month, I think it's pretty obvious, is the dough pin. But I love everything else too. This is a really good box. Like this absolutely makes up from last month's box, which you guys can see a review of in later videos in February. I think that's it. If you guys would like to become part of Sylvia's Fandom Corner, I post new geeky videos every week. It's been a pretty consistent upload lately because there have been so many geeky trailers and so many geeky news that I had to like update you guys on what's going on. This weekend I will be at Regeneration Who. I don't know if any of you guys will be. It's a Doctor Who convention in Baltimore, Maryland, and I'll be hosting a Missy fan panel, and I get to see Michelle again, so I'm very excited about that. If you're going to be there, leave a comment down below. I will try to find you. Um, I can't promise that I will because it's a very, very packed Doctor Who convention. I will try and find you if you're going to go there, so please comment down below. But I think that's it. Alright, see you guys next week on Sylvia's Fandom Corner with a brand new video. Bye!